Today I'm going to be talking to you about grommet spacing. And we get a lot of calls on grommet spacing. And this can be one of the most difficult things to figure out in your workroom. And as you know, when you set a grommet, it is extremely difficult to remove them without damaging the fabric. So it's critical that you prep properly before you place your grommets. So this is a very quick and easy way to show you how to lay out the grommet spacing. I have a panel that finishes at 75 inches and in order to figure out the spacing you can do it several different ways but the easiest way I found is to look at each grommet as if it were a pleat and then each space as if it were a space on a pleated panel and I'll take the width of my grommet and do the math and calculate how many grommets I want, and then the spaces accordingly. Now once you figure that out, you can do several, several different scenarios, but I've got a piece of our six inch buckram here, and I use our clear view ruler, and I know that this is a six inch piece of buckram, and my grommet is about three and three quarters of an inch wide all the way around, slightly off, but it's close enough, so I've just taken the, the clear view ruler and I've laid it down. And first I've laid it this way and calculated where I want to put all my grommets. So each one of these vertical lines is three and three quarters inches apart. Now I've done it with a Sharpie, but you can use our purple marking pen and this will erase. So if you make a mistake, you can always go back afterward. And I've drawn the grommets in. You don't have to do all that. I've just done it for demonstration purposes. But you'll go ahead and you'll mark your vertical lines. And once you get that done, I put my one inch mark and I marked all the top and bottom areas. And then you just take a grommet. This is from our grommet sample pack. This is our number 18 grommet in the satin smoke finish. And this is before any of these holes are cut. You'll go ahead and lay this out. You can even turn it this way, it'll be easier to trace. And lay it out so that it's between the lines. And if it goes off a little, it's not critical. It's very close. We'll lay that out. And you'll draw your, your circle around it and draw the circle around the center part. And that'll give you an idea of where that grommet is going to be. And then this area here you take to the grommet press and you actually cut the holes. Now one little tip I do want to mention is a good starting point to know how far apart do you place the grommets. Well you can see that these grommets are just about one grommet apart. Now that is a good starting place. This is a 75 inch width. I've marked a three inch return. And if I measure from center to center, the spacing actually calculates out to be about seven and a quarter inches. Now one thing I want you to note, you must have an even number of grommets. That's a common mistake. If you don't have an even number, then you'll have your return going back on one end and going forward on the other. So you want to make sure you have an even number of grommets. And you can see that I've marked a little SP here. I've got an F and a B every other space. And what this indicates is front, and this is a back space. Now one thing I want to suggest, with this 75 inch panel, I need a width and a half of fabric. But if I figure my width and a half of fabric, that's going to put my seam probably right about here. And if I look, I can see that this space is a front space. In other words, this will be facing forward. And I do not want a seam there. I want a seam in one of the back spaces. So my suggestion is when you have a width and a half of fabric, to purchase enough fabric to sew two full widths together then make your template and decide where you want your seam to fall. And most people will prefer to have their seam just behind a grommet on the back side. So as the grommet goes in, the seam will actually be in here. 
You could put it in the center, but it'll be less conspicuous if it's closer to the edge. And again, this is in a back space. So before I ever sew my fabric together, I'm going to figure the finished width of my panel and then go ahead and get this template laid out. I'm going to show you another one. Now this spacing is approximately three and a half inches. That's from the edge of grommet to edge of grommet. Center to center is about seven and a quarter. A lot of people try to calculate based on the center to center, but that can be difficult when you try to do the math. Now this pattern here, it's the same six inch buckram. We've got the same number 18 grommet, only instead of 10 grommets, I've got eight. And you can see my spacing is about five and a half inches from edge of grommet to edge of grommet. And the center to center is about nine and a quarter. It's the same length piece of buckram. Now what I'm gonna do is put this on a cardboard tube and show you this is very easy to do in the workroom. We'll start putting this on. So you can get all of your spacing figured out before you even purchase your pole or before you order your grommets. If you purchase our grommet sample pack, you'll have the size of the grommets. And we do have a video clip that shows you about the sizing. You always want to make sure that you choose a grommet that's going to be able to turn at a 45 degree angle if the panel is going to be operable. So you can see very quickly how I've put this together. You can see if I push it a little bit closer how it's going to look. Now I'll go ahead and do the other side. This was with eight grommets and I had the spacing about nine and a quarter inches center to center, which was about five and a half from edge of grommet to edge of grommet. So we'll go ahead and we'll put the other side on. I can go ahead and clamp that down. And you can see the difference in the spacing. One thing I want to mention too, you always want to make sure that the space between your grommets is never so far apart that the back section is going to hit the wall. I've got a three inch return on this panel and I know that with the spacing that I figured here, I'm not going to have a greater amount of spacing so that that's going to be hitting the wall. That's very critical. Now if you look at both of these, for a standard ceiling height, I would probably choose to do the 10 grommets because I think visually it looks a little nicer. But if you had a situation where you had very tall draperies and you were going up say 120 inches or so, you may want to use the larger spacing. So this is just a quick look at how you can space this out and see the grommets and the spacing. You can see on this sample here, this was where I had mentioned if I had a 75 inch width or, or panel rather with a width and a half, if I had split the width and sewn it without properly uh, planning all of this out, my seam would be falling right there. But you can see here, by sewing the two widths of fabric together first and then taking a little off of each end to get our 75 inch finished width, we could place the seam back here. Now once you decide that this is the way you want it, you can simply take this piece of buckram and use it as the template to use on your fabric. So when you get your panel finished and you're ready to set your grommets, you simply take this paper template, the buckram template, lay it out, mark all of your holes, and you can go ahead and take it right to the grommet press and cut all your holes and set your grommets. So it's a quick, easy way to
to determine spacing. It works with uh, any size grommet. For the number six and up, the good rule of thumb, as I said before, is to start with one full grommet or thereabouts between each grommet for your space size. Anything under a number six, especially if you're doing a shower curtain, obviously you would want to space those a little bit further apart so that rule would not apply. But this is a quick look, very easy, and you know that your job will be exactly the way you want it without missing.